Hey guys, so I've been building a new PC and I decided that I wanted to do kind of um, some short segmented videos about the hardware that I'm getting and the hardware that I'm going to be putting in this PC. Um, and unfortunately I kind of decided to do this a little late because I had already started building this computer. Um, and I mean, as you can see, I've already got the power supply, motherboard, CPU, you know, CPU cooler, um, that kind of stuff inside the computer already. But um, I just want to share with you guys that I just got um, new RAM, um, and the RAM that I purchased was the G Skill Trident Z Royal Series. It's the silver edition. Um, it's pretty uh, good looking aesthetically, and um, it is a beast of a RAM um, in its uh, specs. So um, it's DDR4 RAM and has 4,000 mega transfers per second. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and unbox these uh, these modules. A nice little uh, microfiber cloth. Clean these off because they are silver. They're metal, um, and fingerprints will be left all over them. But dang, those are pretty nice looking. Uh, they have little finger inserts here so that you can pull them out with actually t without touching the chip down there at the bottom. You don't want to touch this where the prongs go into the actual motherboard. Um, so you want to grab it by the sides. You can grab it on the actual heat sink, basically. But and look at those LED crystals. Now, these are supposed to look really nice when they're plugged in and fired up. So that's what we're looking at. These are two 16 gigabyte. Um, modules. Alright guys, so these are your inputs for your uh, RAM modules on your motherboard. Um, there are four slots. Some other boards um, may have four slots on one side and four slots on the other side. Um, increasing the maximum amount of RAM you can put into your computer. So before you can put in your RAM modules into your computer, you have to use these retention levers and open them up so that the RAM module can just slide into the actual slot um, without opening these and if you try to force the module in you're gonna break something. Second thing to remember is each generation of RAM uh, whether it's you know DDR2, DDR3, or DDR4 which is what um, I'm using here um, each, each generation comes with a different notch that is off-center um, within the module and within the motherboard. So as you can see, and there's a notch, and it might be a little bit hard for you to tell, but it's not quite in the center of that module. And this makes it so that this module can only go into the motherboard slot for the RAM in one direction. And as you can see, there's some protective uh, cellophane that's stuck to either side of the RAM module. So make sure and take those off of both modules before you install because um, RAM can get really hot and you don't want it to melt on there. So when you're ready to install your RAM, just make sure you line up those notches and everything's going to slide in really smooth. Once you've got them lined up and you're sure they're going to go in, go and just press on the tops of them until the retention rev levers move forward and snap in place. And you'll actually hear a physical snap on either side, and then you know it's um, installed in there securely. Not only will you hear the snap, but you also see the retention levers physically move inward. All right, guys, there it is, all lit up. Everything seems to be working. We're going to be booting into BIOS. Everything's doing its power on self test, and that is a good sign. We're getting into our BIOS here, so. We know that everything's installed correctly up to this point. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
If you did, please hit that like button, leave a comment, and also please subscribe. Thank you.